Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks and welcome you all to this midweek vlog of mine. It had to be done people, it had to be. I can't remember if, because I did so many vlogs last week, <laughs> I've forgotten what I told you all. But I can't remember, I, I did say that I'd ordered a couple of t-shirts, I talked about a few t-shirts, I wore one t-shirt that I'd ordered for a gaming t-shirt. And I think after I'd done my last vlog, I then went off on one and actually found somewhere else where I can get some really cool t-shirts and ordered a whole bunch of t-shirts for doing my vlogs on the channel. Well, predominantly, but I'll wear them out as well. So it took me, like, once I'd found this place and and sort of had a really good hunt, because there's thousands of designs, and as you can see, I'm wearing, which is in fact probably my immediate favourite at the moment, but that could change as I go through the weeks, people. But this is my immediate favourite, which is a Final Fantasy IX one with characters on it. All running together which is I just adore it I think it's fantastic and I loved the picture when I saw it and you can get it in a, a canvas and all sorts of stuff as well so anyway so I was just I, I'd actually initially thought I'm just gonna take some I'll take some selfies with me wearing the t-shirts and close-ups as best I can because I don't have a professional photographer people <laughs> it's not in the budget is it so I have done that and we shall have a little montage at the end. But I thought, hey, what the hey, we might as well have a chin wag about it as well. Because a couple of other things arrived, which I told you about. And it looks like Black Friday actually broke the post, people. Because <laughs> I ordered I ordered all my games. I think I told you in the last vlog, probably the last one. I think it was the last one. Uh, I was talking about Xenoblade uh, 2, which had arrived. And there was another couple of games that I'd ordered, but hadn't arrived yet. And I thought, oh, they'll arrive tomorrow. And I think at that point, I meant Saturday morning. But they only arrived today. So I think Black Friday, and that was first Clash Royal Mail, so I think it was just Black Friday, just put everything back a bit. So those have arrived for, for the Switch, which I'll show you in a sec. But anyway, before I go rambling on about something that's nothing to do with this particular vlog, it's a vlogette really, people, because <laughs> it's really just to show off my t-shirts. So there you are, there's the first one. We will have the montage at the end, and I'll, I'll try and do something cool with the montage at the end, see how we go. As cool as is, is that I'm capable of. <laughs> but I'll try and do something nice with it at the end. Uh, so here we go. So I thought, like, I could, you can't... Uh, oh, can you see? There is a fair pile here, people. There's a fair pile. What? <laughs> so I went off on one. I was picking out all these. And I couldn't decide. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to treat myself to a whole pile of bloody T-shirts. So here we go. So I'm going to have to fold all these back up again. Do you know, if I look red in this video... I, I I took all of these pictures with me and I've different hats with different t-shirts depending on what's on them and uh, <laughs> I was absolutely sweltering. I didn't even have the heating on. It's freezing outside. Oh my god, I'm so warm. <laughs> I've got the I've got the door beside me open to try and let air through from the hallway and stuff. Anywho, um, let's just crack through. I'm going to have to fold them all up again after this, but never mind, eh? So this one you've all seen in the last vlog, if you were watching the last vlog. So that's the Super Mario Brothers one, which um, I really adored, actually. It's a really nice t-shirt. I really enjoyed wearing it. I think I told you at the time, though, the only disappointment was that it was a little bit flappy on the arms. So I like the arms to be a bit tighter, a bit like this one is. Um, and so I had to roll those up. That came from Amazon. And I also mentioned in the last vlog, I'm going to fold these as I do them, people. <laughs> <laughs> because otherwise I've just got a massive mess below me. Um, and I mentioned in the last video that uh, I had another Super Mario one. And I was going to wear it in the next vlog. But uh, here we go. There he is. So 8-bit um, Mario or whatever it is there. Those ones are particular called. I think it's 8-bit, isn't it? Or 16-bit. <laughs> it's one or the other. Bit-like. Pixel. Pixel-like. Pixel-like uh, characters. So there's a few more of those to come with different people on them. So I really like that. The only Again, this was from Amazon, this one. The rest that I'm about to show you are from somewhere else. But um, the only disappointing thing about that one is that it's quite low down. Like, it, it needs to be further up. Like, for my videos, if I was wearing this now, you'd... Well, you, you might see his head, and that's about it. He sort of sits on your stomach, almost. Unlike the other one, which was a bit higher up on the chest, and this one, which is sort of right across the chest. So it's the only disappointing part of it, but it's still a really nice t-shirt. It looks really nice on. And so the rest of these t-shirts are all from Red Bubble. So if you haven't come across Red Bubble before, um, it seems to be that there are 
a website that and I could be completely wrong about this, but it seems to be that it's independent designers and uh, who can then, I, I suppose, sell their designs via Redbubble onto things like T-shirts, canvases, anything really. If you go looking, like as I say, that particular design, you can get it on all sorts of pillow. You probably get it on pillowcases and all sorts of stuff. You can also go in. Because my initial thing is, like, with the other T-shirts, was like, I don't like the flappy arms. I don't know what the T-shirts are going to be like. So you can return stuff without having to... I'm not, <laughs> not sponsored for doing this, by the way. I just happened to have found a good site. Uh, these only arrived today, so I'm really chuffed with the fit and everything. Um, so they have, like, five different T-shirt designs. This is the unisex medium um, that I'm wearing. Uh, but there was, there was different types of T-shirt, and they have little pictures of them. And then if you don't like... Initially, it'll pop up with a, one of those as the default picture, but then you just go into it and it says also available in and you just pick the other T-shirt and it'll put it on that one. You can also, it says uh, the little color bubble and you just hit that and you can change it because it might come up in a, I don't know, brown T-shirt or a red T-shirt. You just change it to black. I, I changed all of these to black. So, um, yeah, I mean, some of the designs don't work well with black. Some of them I had to sort of leave, I didn't get because... I didn't necessarily want a white t-shirt and stuff. I just like the black ones for doing the vlogs and stuff. Um, and I think the images stand out better on black. But uh, yeah, I can't. I'm trying to remember what they were off the top of my head now. But anyway, let's crack on, shall we? So these are all from Redbubble. Um, so we have Final Fantasy X people. Little bit of whacker, eh? <laughs> Blitzball, yeah. <laughs> absolutely love that it's brilliant i've got another final fantasy 10 one coming up as well um i might hunt a bit deeper uh into maybe a few more of the final fantasy 10 characters even the nine characters um they just sort of hold a slightly more special place in my heart than the other final fantasy games uh, not because they're necessarily better games than the other ones it's just that they were the ones that i spent a lot of time with with my son and stuff um we also have Tidus, as I call him. Tidus is probably everybody. Everyone else I've spoken to seems to call him Tidus, but I, I call him Tidus. Um, so we have him as well. Um, so those two, clearly from the same designer. Um, but I absolutely love both of those. And the, the fact they've got the names on them, uh, I think I quite like it. I wasn't sure at first. Uh, but there's also, just underneath the name, I'm not sure if I can get a close-up of it. It seems to be... I am no uh, language expert, people, but it's either Chinese or Japanese. Well, I guess Japanese, maybe. But underneath, it's... Uh... There you go. So I'm assuming that that means something um, in Japanese. It could be the name in Japanese again, which is quite cool, I think. So, yeah, really chuffed for those two. I'm actually doing these back to front, then we'll be in the montage. Because... Uh... It just so happens that I was putting them down <laughs> in a pile as I was doing it. So here we go. So here we have a bit of uh, Joel and Ellie. The Last of Us people had to be done. Um, so I've got a couple from The Last of Us. Um, so I really like that. It's more, more of a print, that one. Sort of more slightly glossy. Um, but very cool. I like the fact that you don't. You know, there's no eyes and stuff. It just kind of works as a graphic. Um, sort of an iconic pose with the two of them on it and I couldn't leave it at one of those good grief people I feel like I'm being mother <laughs> right as if one Joel and Ellie wasn't enough we we've got the pixel version of them I mean it's almost identical clothing isn't it same rucksacks and all that malarkey um, and again, these are all on the same medium unisex t-shirt from redbubble.com. Um, so yeah, I adore both of those actually. They're really nice. And now these next two, <laughs> I, I don't know what it was, right? But when, when they first, when I, the first one I opened, well, they were all in one big box to be fair, but the what, first one I picked up. I could not. I was looking at it and I couldn't for the life of me see what the image was. <laughs> and as I went through the others, I thought, oh, these are great. I thought, what is that? Um, but the minute I saw it, 
I can't stop seeing it. It's clear, crystal clear to me what they are, these two. <laughs> but for the life of me, I was like, what is going on here? Uh, but when I was doing the photo shoot and stuff, um, it was just crystal clear, immediately crystal clear as to what they were. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what you guys, what you guys think. If you see it straight away or if it takes a few views to go, ah. Uh... Although I'm about to tell you what they are anyway, I suppose. See, I'm looking at it in the camera now and it's absolutely crystal clear what that is. <laughs> but for the life of me, when it was lying on the couch earlier, I was like, what is that? And in fact, to be fair, uh, it was this one and the next one. The, the, it's the next one I picked out first, but it's Zidane from Final Fantasy IX. Um, and I absolutely adore it now that, <laughs> now that I'm seeing it straight off the bat. I don't know, my eyes must have been having a funny moment, I think. Uh, this was the one that I really struggled with. And again, it seems crystal clear now. Yeah, it is. And in the camera. Maybe it's because I was too close to it or something. I don't know. But Vivi in the in the pixel version as well. I think it's 8-bit pixel, isn't it? Or something like that. Or 16-bit. Something like that. So there you go. Vivi's such an iconic an iconic character. So is Zidane for that matter. But, I mean, I, this is why I just love this t-shirt. It's got those sort of iconic Final Fantasy IX. I loved Final Fantasy IX. I adored that game, so I did. Whew, I'm getting hot again, people. <laughs> I'm like this in shops as well. You know, you go uh, shopping for clothes. And the minute I try, I mean, I can try on, you know, a wallet. <laughs> I'm streaming with sweat. You know, oh, that's a nice wallet. Oh. Honestly, absolutely swallowing. So uh, then, of course, with Switch in play, we had to go for a little bit of Zelda, which, well, to be fair, that's uh, I'm pretty sure that's from the Ocarina of Time art. Looking at all of that, um, but yeah, you've got to have a bit of uh, a bit of link when it comes to gaming t-shirts. It's a, I mean, I think if I was going to be picky about that t-shirt, I think I love the image, but I would take that just a little bit smaller, centered in the chest, rather than an entire front piece. But that's just a personal thing. Like I quite like the fact that's it's almost forced to be slightly smaller because it's got them all in a row. But um, but it's a brilliant T-shirt. It's absolutely fantastic. I love it. But um, given the option, I wouldn't mind it just a tiny bit smaller centered in the chest. <clears throat> and oh, I love this. I love this idea. So this was sticking with the Zelda theme, but crossing over into a bit of Skyrim. <laughs> so it's a Skyrim character and a Link together. Which I absolutely love that. And it's got, um, a, yeah, one of those little, I'm forgetting probably what the proper name is, but a little Firefly thing up there. Um, but it's absolutely brilliant. Both of them sitting back to back with the sword in the ground, a little Firefly in the in the air. I absolutely adore that. That is up there with one of my favourites from the pile, people. It has to be said. And sticking with a bit of Skyrim, people. So we've got the uh, pixelated character again from the first row dar. Has that got the first row dar on it? Yeah, it has. So it's got first row dar at the bottom. You can't see it very clearly in the image, I don't think, at the minute. But you can in real life, people. It is one of those t-shirts that will stand out a bit more, probably on white, for that writing. But um, it does work when you see it. Um, when you see it proper, oh, there you go, you can see it. Because it is shiny, you see, so it's not the same black as the t-shirt is. So there you are. Good grief, we are at the final one, people. Yes, we are. Um, I'm not sure about this one. Again, I'd like it to have been a bit smaller. And then I might have liked it more. Um, but it's the Bloodborne character i mean it's great but given the option i would have taken it a little bit smaller or centered in the chest again like the link one so that'll be worn on bloodborne nights when me and craigie boys start doing a bit of live streaming on bloodborne without any doubt so there you are so that's all of them um obviously the two uh, the two super mario ones had arrived 
from Amazon before today, but I thought, well, I'll show them all off in one video in case someone didn't see the last one, or for whatever reason, you know. But yeah, I can't recommend Redbubble enough. I mean, there's so much stuff on there. I mean, I'd be surprised if you can't find something that's going to um, float your boat, as it were, on that website, so far as anything goes to do with gaming. I mean, all I was doing was, if you go on to... It's quite clever with its search criteria, so you can actually manipulate the actual search criteria it's punched into its box when you click men's and then put Final Fantasy after it, or men's t-shirt Final Fantasy and, or whatever, and you can be very specific like that about what it is you're looking for, and then you'll see any sort of design that can be put on um, a t-shirt or... I mean, that's where these pillows came from. Uh, no, was it? No, I'm saying that now. I think it was. It was also Wayfarer as well, um, but I'm pr yeah it is no it is because that because those I looked in fact in the t-shirts there were t-shirts that I could put these designs on as well but I thought well it's a bit daft to have it on my t-shirt while I'm chatting to you when I've already got it on the pillows behind me. That said, I am going to be getting some different pillow slips that I can mix up a bit to make the background of the vlogs sort of well you know rotate a little bit just keep them keep them interesting. I think we're looking quite good behind us I think for the vlogs now. Um, between the t-shirts and the vlogs and my, my new flat cap collection, people. <laughs> Those more astute of you will know that I'm wearing a different colour than normal. Um, trying to remember now what I was wearing in the last one, but my, my cap of this type was grey. We now have a brown one, this sort of mauve one and the grey one. So the, it's, it's building up, people. I would have got a black one, but they've, they've done something weird with the black design. So, so there you are. So there you are. So that was it, really. It was just to show you those and, obviously... As I promised earlier, um, Octopath Traveler arrived and Dinky King, <laughs> as I typed it into my phone. Uh, so Donkey Kong uh, Tropical Freeze. Well, it's actually called Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, isn't it? Um, but said by many to be one of the greatest platformers of all time. Um, and Octopath. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing Octopath and... Uh, the other one, Xenoblade 2. Um, but Donkey Kong and... I'm, I'm really glad that I've got... Like I said in the last vlog, I'm really glad that I got um, Donkey Kong and uh, Super Mario Odyssey because those are games that... There's no reason for me to do them on the channel, so there's nothing stopping me from just sitting down with the Switch and just, you know, um, playing away on it. So, you know, a lot of the time, if I'm already in the middle of doing a Let's Play, then I can, I'm i stuck. If I'm not going to record it, I can't just sit and play it on a lot of games so so yeah it's nice to be back in platformer land and be able to just sit and play something like that for a bit of a change or uh, if i go away over the over the period of christmas period or whatever there you are anyway it was mainly about the t-shirts people as it says probably in the title by now right i'm gonna go off now and i'm gonna try and put together some sort of little montage uh and make it uh Fairly cool. I mean, there's only pictures of me taking selfies, but I'll maybe try and put some music around it and uh, make it quite short and not keep you there forever. Um, and I hope you like the t-shirts. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the designs that I picked for the t-shirts were. Would you have gone for the same sort of thing? Um, whether I have floated your boat and you're now straight on to Redbubble to see what's going on. Am I the last person to discover Redbubble in this land? Because <laughs> I didn't even know about them until two weeks ago. Um, and it's not like I haven't gone looking for t-shirts before. So I, I don't know. It must have been around for a while, surely. It seems to be a massive company. Um, so let me know. Feedback to me, people. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in this vlog of mine, showing off my new purchases, and I shall see you in the next one, folks. Remember, montages are coming. Bye.